Arctic region is an untapped area where resources are in abundance. Also, Arctic provides an alternative navigation route connecting Far East Asia with Europe with much lesser distance compared to Suez Canal route. Now, Arctic ice caps are melting and opening the zone for geopolitical dominations. Therefore, the interplay of economics and geopolitics has transformed the region into a hotspot for a renewed geopolitical competitions among the great powers. According to estimates from U.S. Geological Survey, the area north of Arctic Circle is expected to store a reserve of 90 billion barrels of oil, 1,670 trillion cubic feet of natural gas, and 44 billion barrels of natural gas liquids. These resources account for about 22% of undiscovered technically recoverable resources in the world. About 84% of the estimated resources are expected to occur offshore. No single country owns Arctic entirely. However, many countries wanted to dominate this region. Who are the main players? Russia, Nordic nations, USA. And there are also non-Arctic players who are greatly interested in this region, the China. China wants to be a player in this region where it does not have a local standee for two main reasons. To slowly dominate the region and bring it into the area of its influence. Explore and exploit the resources in Arctic region with direct or indirect tie-up with the local players. You can see this Chinese approach in South China Sea. Now it is being extended to Indian Ocean and more importantly Arctic Circle. China has coined the Arctic navigation route as Polar Silk Route. This route is expected to serve as a vehicle for increased Sino-Russian investment and cooperation in building out Arctic infrastructure to support commercial transit and resource exploration. China involvement in this region may be a welcome development for Russia in short term, but in the long run, China can dominate this region and dictate terms to Russia. The trade balance and power balance is skewed towards China, and China may offset Russia in this region in the long run. The next player, Russia. Russian Arctic strategy is aimed to develop untapped energy resources to elevate its economy. This includes liquid natural gas projects and Northern Sea Route, which will be strengthening the Russian economy, reducing maritime routes and assisting Russia to become a dominant power in this region. Russian attempt to develop and utilize the Northern Sea Route as a global shipping artery raised the value of the Arctic in the Russian geopolitical calculus. Continuous warming of Arctic Circle with aspects of national security and Russia's deteriorating relationship with the West, especially after the Ukrainian crisis, have forced Russia to look into alternate options. Since ice caps are melting, Russia will plan to establish major ports in Arctic Russian coast and try to develop the area which are very remote such as Siberian Russian region. Russia has its own Arctic policy, the Russian Arctic Policy 2035. The policy clearly shows that Russia wants to dominate this region and establish a northern fleet which is to protect this region from other stronger players such as NATO and USA. The next player, USA. Historically, USA is not a stakeholder in this region. However, Russia sold Alaska to America. In 1987, the USA reached an agreement to purchase Alaska from Russia for a price of just $7.2 million. Russia will be repenting now for selling a vital part of this country, which would have made Russia to encircle entire Arctic if it had Alaska with it right now. The United States has been the least active in the Arctic region after Cold War. Nevertheless, its hold important strategic interest in the growing Russian and Chinese presence in the region. Washington's approach will be to discourage Russia's claim on North Sea Route and militarization of Arctic. Also, United States is actively building icebreakers to counter Russian superiority. U.S. collaboration with its regional NATO allies aims to establish security equilibrium against the growing China and Russia cooperation in this region. America want to prove that Arctic is no one's lake. Despite military superiority that Russia enjoys in terms of icebreakers, U.S. military action cannot be sidelined. United States is planning to introduce air combat planning in which United States will have two quadrants of F-35 placed in Alaska by 2022. This will be joined by F-22 rapid squadrons as well. And finally, Denmark. Denmark does not want to be left out. In all Nordic countries, Denmark is very concerned about evolving situation in Arctic. As a matter of fact, Denmark considers Arctic as an important foreign and security policy priorities. 
it clearly sees the expansion of Russian military and navigation assets in this region as a security threat. For a year, Danish considered involvement of NATO in Arctic as an irritant. However, rise of Russian focus in this region has made Denmark to rethink. Denmark has recently increased its military budget with so-called Arctic Capacity Package of around US 235 million in an aim to enforce its sovereignty and enhance surveillance in Arctic. Now the great rush to dominate Arctic region will speed up due to geopolitical uncertainty and increasing assertive Russia and China. USA and NATO will be carefully planning these moves to contain both these countries. Also, Russia has its own fear on China. Will USA bring in a quad type of alliance in this region? Will India be an another non-Arctic player in this region? Will it align with USA? We will track this.